Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, dudes, dudettes, broad stock chumps, and champs to the channel. It's your hostess with the mostest, the Locked Otis here. And today, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can get dark matter faster. Now, this isn't by any means an easy thing to do. Um, for the average player, it'll probably take you like two, three, maybe four weeks if, if you're having trouble with some of them. But um, this one, I'm just going to kind of cover your primary full auto weapons. Um, this kind of goes for your uh, psh, marksman rifle, or what are they? What are they called? Tactical rifles. Kind of, sort of goes with them. Uh, maybe not the VKM. Uh, maybe not the snipers. Um, those are kind of, kind of different in a way. You can kind of use it for your pistols, not the Mazu. The Mazu is completely different. And your launcher, I recommend getting that when you're doing your assault rifles or uh, SMGs, just because it's an easy way to. Oh, I forgot about that. It's an easy way to, to get it at the same time. And then a uh, combat knife is a completely different thing as well. So um, you're gonna want your primary, whatever gun it is. I recommend using a, a sight. I, rec I highly recommend the Reflex and the Elo, just because like those are the most normal sights. Uh, you can experiment with other ones if you want, but that's just what I recommend. Uh, your equipment charge, because your equipment's gonna help you get those headshots, because that's just kind of what we're going for first. And then um, your your perks. All right, tight mask, just because that nine bang is really annoying, and that just and the concussion, they're just really annoying, and I don't like dealing with it. And there's not really much else from perk one that's really benefits you. Um, gung ho, because we're playing hardcore, and you want to whip that gun out as fast as possible, and that's just gonna make it easier. And ghost, just because in hardcore, uh, if if the enemy gets a UAV and you're hidden, and we're always gonna be moving, so we're not worried about that. But uh, you always want to be hidden, and you can use suppressor. It really doesn't matter in hardcore because it's so little bullets to kill. But I'm going to jump in the game, and I'm gonna try and break it down for you. Okay, so, specialist. When you're using your specialist, I recommend the Ajax. Just because uh, his 9 bang is really good against the, or to, just to stop him in place and get headshots. You can swap your equipment charge for some concussion grenades. That's that's definitely an option. But um, I just like using the 9 bang because, I don't know, just personal preference, I reckon. Um, what else is good? Oh, wow. That guy just snatched it. Okay, so, I guess. Good to go. We're not using torque. No share. I mean, this this gentleman. Um, we're gonna go with recon. So recon, like like I said, the nine bang. That's just the easiest. Uh, one of the. Oh wow, that was fast. But it's the easiest way just to stop him to get a uh, get those headshots. Um, another option if you're a fast paced player. Wow, man, they're everywhere. Is uh, the, the the feller with the the grapple hook? Uh, ruin his. Uh, if you're if you're good with the grapple hook, man. If you're good with the grapple hook, you can use it to get behind them, or if they push your spawn too hard. But um. Securing Bravo. Oh, 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 that, that got snatched from me. But yeah, you can use the grapple hook to get behind them. And uh, get those easy headshots, but if you think about it, Alpha wow, down. I wasn't ready for that. Enemy UAV above. But if you think about it, if you use these tips and you're really trying really hard to get the dark matter, then you'll get around 10 headshots a game. Sometimes you can get more if you're really persistent. Okay, so I'll show you how you can use this. Uh, the sensor dart to your advantage here in a second. Alright, so I don't even have it yet. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Sorry guys. I'm not professional. Why do the spawns keep flipping? Oh, that one chick's pretty good. No. Okay. Okay, we got him, So. Okay, she's trying to hack us. We need to find her. Oh, dad gone. So, there we got it. Maybe systems are hacked. Okay, so you can't use equipment while you're hacked. That's pretty cool. Man, come on, team, play the objective. Lost B. My systems are hacked. I guess they did cap it. GG. Your control right. systems are back online. Okay. So, I'm going to pop it there. Now you can see where they're spawning and aim where their head's gonna be. I'm obviously not doing it right now. I'm freaking out about the objective. But, um, you can use the sensor dart right there. 
and just see where their see where their head's gonna be. And aim pre-aim it. That should give you a headshot. Man, I was too busy looking at our radar. That was in my general tips video. I was saying that I look at the radar more than I look at the screen itself. And that about time it back for it. Backfired. That would have been embarrassing. Okay. This guy over here. They're everywhere. Come on, guys. Losing Bravo. The brightness is a little, it's a little dim. Uh, I kind of wish I was using the, the hacker lady. Enemy took Bravo. Okay. They give me a barricade. Taking Bravo. Wow, that was embarrassing. Sorry, guys. Okay, but it's really just consistency. If you want, if you want to. If you want to get dark matter, you have to commit, and you have to, like you have to be able to risk losing a gunfight to get a headshot. That's all it really is. And then as for the second part of the challenges, and uh, like uh, it's double kills for ARs, with long shots, revenge for SMGs, for all those kinds of things. Um, they should, for the majority, come naturally, but obviously. But those should come naturally. If not, then obviously for your long shots, you need to go to a long line of sight for uh, revenge kills. Hard point's a good place to go. But um, those should come naturally, except for the bloodthirsties. For bloodthirsties, all you need to do is play passive. And if you're not good at the game, I recommend hovering over B flag and hardcore dom. That's one of the easiest ways to do it. There's two guys chilling over here camping. Oh, I almost let him get me am I not using ready up on this oh yeah this class has this, this isn't even the class I was supposed to be using you like that okay but um yeah for bloodthirsty you're just gonna want to play passive uh I think I shot him first but it's okay we're okay. It's okay. Okay. So once again, with your yeah, with your sensor dart here, you know where they're gonna be. So just aim where their head's gonna be. I don't know if that made sense, but I think I, I would hope you know what I'm trying, what I'm talking about. So yeah, it's ma ma mainly just consistency. You have got to be willing to uh, risk using a gunfight in order to UAV available for tasking. Uh, get a headshot. We're winning this. Overhead. Oh, come on, get up there. Get up. I'm so bad. Oh, man, that was a triple, too. Eight gum. Okay, so here we have this. Cool. Got a UAV. I got a CUAV. <laughs> okay. Don't mind my horrible aim. It's okay. It's okay, we're okay. UAV standing by. I got the kill. No. Your systems have been infected by an enemy hacker. We've been infected. An enemy hacker has slipped control of your UAV. Okay. Oh, I might give it back. Oh, we get, it's got a little marker over it. Losing B. That's cool. Your control systems are back online. Okay. Got a nice little triple A. But um, yeah, for your headshots, it's all about consistency. Aiming for the head. You can camp if you want, but the 9 Bing is a very useful tool. I hear him coming. Shh. Oh, he got me. But your 9 Bing is a very useful tool, and um, use it as much as you can. I know it's hard to tell in hardcore whenever you get it, but um, there's a little sound cue. I don't know if I can, I'll be able to have it, but. You get a little sound cue when you get your equipment, and that's... Oh my gosh, my controller sucks. It's okay though. It's okay, it's okay. It's time to have good controllers too. So I'm gonna say it again for like the ninth time. <laughs> Consistency is key. If you want to get headshots, you have to be willing 
Wow, that was horrible. You gotta be willing to lose a gunfight to get a headshot, and then... And then uh, for the rest of the challenges, most of them should come naturally, except for um, the Bloodthirsties, which if you're not the most skilled player, then just play passive, camp the objective, and oh, I thought he was going to shoot me. Taking problems. Oh, my boy, coming with the heals. And then obviously for your shotguns, you can use a uh, hardcore or core. That's kind of personal. Wow, that was a teammate, man. That was going off. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We're okay. We're not going to talk about that. Down. Okay. It's okay. 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 Out of boy team. Okay, I'm scared now. They don't like me. Okay. Oh! Tap mask almost helped me. It's okay though. We've got that purple dank matter, bro. Aren't we cool? Hellstorm kill. How do you? Oh yeah. That's losing B. That's what you're gonna get, boys. Got gotta have that discipline. You gotta want it. But for your shotguns, it's core or hardcore, in the Mazu. I'm gonna make the Mazu is one of the most fun guns in the game. And I'm gonna make a completely separate video on that. But, um, yeah, use a sight. And if you have any trouble with any gun in particular, uh, leave, it, leave, leave it in the comments, and I'll make a video over that one. I know my, my bugaboos, the ones that really got me, were the, uh, that the semi-auto shotgun that needed that needed headshots instead of one-shot kills, which was irritating in itself. But um, besides that, the um, uh, what's it called? The Mazu gave me trouble at first, but then I figured out this awesome tip with it, and that really helped. What? Come on, man. Come on, man. And then your uh, shotguns. I mean, not shotguns. Pistols. I, I, that's the first thing I got uh, diamond because pistols are my favorite. And those aren't too hard, but I can make a video on it if need be. And then um, your snipers. Ah, oh, man, those took me a while just because you have to have attachments to do good with those. The outlaw is a really hard one. I'll have to make a separate video on that one, too. Securing Charlie. But, um, yeah, it's all about self-discipline and consistency. You have to aim for the head. Like, everyone makes these videos about, you gotta use this gun. Man, that was a close game. GG, guys. GG. GG. Dropped 60 kills. That's not terrible, only. But, ooh, and got to play the game. Let's see this. Gosh, this is horrible aim. What happened? What happened? Well, all right then. But yeah, you're gonna need self-discipline and consistency, and you gotta be able to. Well, we completely lost Wi-Fi network. That's weird. But yeah, you're gonna need consistency. You gotta aim for the head. You gotta be. Wow, that is cool. I've never seen that one before. Huh. But you gotta be able to aim for the head, have self-discipline, and then um, use a reflex sight, and make sure you're always kind of hovering over objectives. And um, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Um, if there's any gun in particular that you need help on, let me know. Drop it in the comments. I'll make a, its own video on that one. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.